<laughs> Good morning. Are you ready to take care of the animals? Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. This little puppy is ready. Hi, Jenny. Let's go get you some food. Are you so excited to see us? It's a pretty day. Yes, it is. Oh, thank you, Arthur. <laughs> Do you like that, Jenny? Are you here for your breakfast? <laughs> oh, Arthur, honey, that's too loud. You know what? You have food down there already. I want you to finish that first, okay? All right, you enjoy. Hold on, step, step back. Well, you're trying hard, aren't you? Okay, I'll get you a little, but not much. Yeah, you're excited, aren't you? You know what that is? Come on, come on. It's right. Okay, there you go. Enjoy. Oh. I'm still not feeling the best today, so I think I'm going to just put them into the open area back there. And then if they get out again I'll go ahead and tie them up but it's actually a lot more work to tie them up just because you have to go and make sure they're not tangled and go take care of keeping an eye on them and it's just easier if they will stay back there and eat all of that in fact the other day we could not find the goats back there so they eventually got out late at night and they put themselves up in this little fence up by the house. And we had looked everywhere for them. <sighs> All right, guys. I'll tell you what, I see another bucket in there. So we're going to pour some in that bucket and keep some in this so that you guys can share. Because you guys don't share very well. Get, get the bucket, please. You don't need to be scared of the goats. They're more interested in the feed than you. All right, thank, thanks. <laughs> no. Thank you. There's one. Here's the other. It's kind of your own personal one there, isn't it? Because they don't like to share with you. There you go. Poor thing. Got all those burrs on you. How many eggs do you think you'll get to we'll get today, Arthur? I was thinking. Fifteen. Fifteen. That would be wonderful. Probably this summer. What do you think, Abby girl? Mm, I think like maybe one or two. One or two? I'm gonna say I'm three. three or four. <gasps> we'll see. Let's go see. Arthur, go open the little door and then come back to me, okay? Wait, please, Abby girl. Oh, good job. Hi, chickens. Excellent. Good morning, chickens. Oh, chickens. You know, when we first moved here and we had our first 15 chickens, we named them all. Now we have very few that are actually named. <laughs> That, that one flew towards you, didn't it? Yeah, it catch the kid. The, the cat toy? Yeah. Okay, let's go in and see how their food's doing. Is right there are three? Yep. They were both right. All right. So the cinder block pushed that all the way down. So even though it has plenty of food in it, they cannot access it. And they're a little bit, well, starving. So if we put a lid on it, we'll need to do a lighter lid. This thing yeah, don't put it in my hair, please. Thank you. Whoops. All right, I'm gonna let them eat. I'll fix it later because they're starving. What do you think, Arthur? Was this hard work? Not hard to me. No. What do you think? Yeah. yeah. It's so nice no, and no, clean. <laughs> That's right. We just cleaned it. No cats pooping in here. <laughs> no. Um, but 
We already have the nesting boxes in. Now we need the feeders yeah. and the water. We already have one feeder. <coughs> oh yeah, that's true. We just yeah. need to get the poop off of it because I was that's mucking the, out the stalls and I threw poop I and it landed in it. So that's not good. And, and, the and the cat's in here again. I think it's just curling up for a nap though. It's okay. Do you know how to put that together yourself? Yeah. Okay. Arthur, no hay in the feeders anymore, okay? Yeah. All right. Are you checking out your new digs? He was over there scratching and pecking. We have our first customer. Uh-oh, you scared it. I'm afraid work is waiting for Brandon when he gets home because I can't carry that whole big old pile to the muck pile. And we don't have a tractor, so when he gets home, I'll tell him about it and we'll get it moved. So we don't feed them a ton, as you saw in the last video, but we do let them out to eat bugs and to eat the grass and whatnot. And Jenny can't get in that way and neither can predators. This way, that's not very fortified, but we're gonna fix that eventually. <laughs> hey guys, come on out. Yesterday they knocked over the feed. <sighs> Oh my word. I think I'm going to pour some outside on purpose and then I'll put that back together. And in the meantime, they're like, I'm going to go find some food. Do you have food for me? Do you have food for me? <laughs> what are they doing? There you go. And a little more over here. That should keep them a little bit busy. And then we'll go put together their feeder. Oh, you want your own serving? Okay. A little more over there. There you go. Jenny! Jenny! Away! She was trying to eat their food and then snarling at them. Out. Jenny, out. That is unacceptable. Uh. Oh. They don't look too terribly plump. Most of them look like they could reproduce quite nicely. We will see, we will see. I don't think they can start laying eggs until they're about six months old. So we'll have to wait a little bit. Isn't that right? I just love the childhood they're having here. But I realized if we planted something over here, it would just make this whole path look just beautiful. So I'll have to look at what we can plant that's tall enough that, and you know, far enough over <laughs> that tractors can get through, but still makes it look absolutely stunning in here. Any ideas? I need gardener's input. You're going the wrong way. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> They're like, you forgot about us. We didn't forget. We just got called off to help the grandparents. The grandparents? Yeah. Uh -oh. It's not too muddy yet, is it? No. Good. <laughs> well, she beat us out here too. Oh, it's a beautiful night. Let's put up those chickens. Excellent. This really is warm. It is, isn't it? A little too warm. It's She's wearing warm. my coat. Okay, I need to take it off. Because I took it off when we were putting up the chickens. I don't think we need to go in though, okay, sweet girl? 
Okay. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Check for your chicks. You all safe in there? Okay, good night. So two of the Icelandic moved from the tree to this right here. Abby, you're too eager, honey. Back up. Back up, you're too eager. So we're going to try to very calmly get them and put them in the chicken house. Aren't you guys just a little bit loud over here? Aren't you just a little loud? It is nighttime after all. Shouldn't you be headed to bed? So mom is gonna try to get both of the chickens. Oh. <laughs> there she is with both of the chickens. chicken house then we'll come back and try to get that one hopefully we can and jenny doesn't <laughs> jenny come come on let's go all right abby open up the big door careful about the little chicks Abby, back up, back up, Abby, get back. You got it, Abby? I'm proud of you. All right, let's go. All right, you guys find your homes, okay? Sleep in here tonight. We're going to probably have them stay in here a little bit longer. We don't want to keep all of these in here because, well, there's just not enough food and water and we just put down the new bedding and <laughs> there's so many of them, it'll make a big old mess. But uh, we'll probably let them wait a little bit longer so that maybe the Icelandics will get a little used to it. All right, Abby, watch your fingers. Good night, little ones. <laughs>